HDR is actually happening on Linux way sooner than I expected. After my previous video about the roadmap and things that still need to be worked on on various desktops, I didn't think I'd be talking about this for three months, six months, maybe even an entire year. Turns out, I was completely wrong. And in this case, being wrong is a very good thing because it's happening a lot quicker than anybody would have ever anticipated. So Joshua Ashton of Valve, who has been very, very hard at work, and we've talked about him previously with the work that he's done on DXVK, has been doing a lot of work with HDR. And about a week ago, Pierre Luc Griffiths of Valve put out this statement. New Linux gaming milestone. With the latest work from Joshua Ashton, HDR can now be enabled for real games. Not some weird test case to make sure HDR is technically functioning, actual games that you might want to play. Tested it tonight on my AMD desktop with Halo Infinite, Deep Rock Galactic, Death Stranding DC, very early, and will still need some time to bait to be useful to most. Now, I don't know why he posted images here, because a lot of people seeing this are probably going to be Linux users, or they're going to have an SDR display. So, this being HDR doesn't really show up on any images you might want to be seeing. I guess this one might be useful, but the others, they don't look HDR because you can't see it like this. But Joshua Ashton understood this and posted something a little bit more useful. Here is Death Stranding DC running with HDR on Linux. It's hard to show off HDR, so have an HDR heat map to go along with it. Anything not grayscale is brighter than 100 nits. So on the loading screen here, nothing is really going on. It looks like the way it would normally look. Here is the HDR. So anything in the sky here, this is going to be a really bright segment of the screen, the closer to red it is, the brighter it's going to be. Same with this second picture here, and there's also another set here where things can get really bright like on this rail here. But while being a better way than what Pierre was doing, this is still just a way to portray the information online to people that are using an SDR display. The only way to really tell what the HDR is actually going to look like is to see it in person and I sadly don't have an HDR screen to test it with. But if you do have an HDR display, it's not like this is just going to be plug and play anywhere on Linux. When I say Joshua Ashton has been very hard at work, there is two main projects we've been working on to make HDR actually possible. The first one being DXVK. This is one of the projects he's mainly known for working on. This is the way that we convert DirectX 9, DirectX 10, and DirectX 11 into Vulkan calls. And while not being a ton of HDR and color related patches recently, there have been a few involved in making this actually possible. The other project involved with this is a project you may not have actually heard of. That project is Gamescope. This is the Gamescope repo, the SteamOS Session Compositing Window Manager. It describes itself as a microcompositor. Basically what it does is allows a lot more fine-grained control over how a game is displayed and rendered. Let's say for example you have a 720p game and you want to upscale it to 1440 or upscale it to 4k or force ultra wide. Maybe you want to go and have a V-Sync but not a V-Sync that's available in the game. Maybe you want to go and set it to something like 47 FPS for whatever reason. Well, Gamescope will let you do that. Maybe you want to go and force Fidelity Super Resolution. Well, that's another option. And there's a bunch of other little tweaking you can do to make things just work the way you want it to work, like sharpness and things like that. But most importantly for HDR is the way it can render. It can render directly to the DRM, the Direct Rendering Manager. If you didn't see my last HDR video, the biggest problem with HDR on Linux isn't the kernel, isn't the GPU drivers, isn't even the application. The biggest issue is the desktops. Xorg and all of the Wayling compositors out there don't support HDR. So if you want to render something in HDR that has to go through that, 
it's not going to work. You need to circumvent that and basically just work directly with the GPU and display whatever it is onto your screen. That can be done with Gamescope. I know that might sound crazy, but there have been media center distros supporting HDR playback for quite a while now, like the past couple of years, and they're basically working in the exact same way, working directly with the DRM. But in the case of Gamescope, it's not like this has just magically started working. As I said, Joshua has been doing a lot of work and just doing a basic rudimentary search for HDR or color space, something like that, you'll start noticing quite a few commits with his name on it. In fact, basically everything that happened over the past couple of weeks has been from Joshua trying to work on HDR and trying to generally just improve game scope. And by doing so, it's clearly made some difference. Now, even with Gamescope in the state it's currently in, we're still in the fairly early days of HDR gaming being possible on Linux. Only a small handful of games are known to actually be working. But much like with those early days of Proton, that's not everything that's working, and things are going to improve over time. But the way they can really improve is if you have an HDR display and you're interested in actually getting this becoming a thing, I would highly encourage you to go and test games that have not been tested just to see what sort of result you're going to get, whether it's artifacting, whether the colours don't make sense, they're not being mapped properly, or what exactly is happening. Get involved with the Gamescope repo, get involved with DXVK, and go and send in all your issues, and hopefully this can become a thing that is just accepted to be working on Linux. Now, seeing as though Gamescope is used on SteamOS, you might be asking, well, what about the Steam Deck? Now, obviously, the Steam Deck doesn't have an HDR display, so you won't be running HDR content directly on the device. But what about docked with an external display? Well, luckily you asked, because Pierre has been testing this. HDR working on a docked deck, connected to a current-gen LG OLED through HDMI. Again, still needs a ton of work, but making good progress. The fact that it's working full stop is better than we were at like two or three weeks ago. Now, one thing I should mention is all of the public testing done so far has been done with AMD GPUs. Whether it's an AMD desktop system, whether it's a Steam Deck, all of them are AMD. And Gamescope does technically work on NVIDIA and also over on Intel. But I don't know if the HDR actually works on those systems. That's one of those things that probably still needs to be tested and probably still needs to be improved going forward into the future. The one issue with testing this, though, is there doesn't seem to be any documentation in actually doing so. I don't know if you just install the latest version of Gamescope and then the HDR stuff is going to work if you run the game in it, or if there's some like options you need to run or some build options you need to include. Right now, at least from what I've seen, nothing is publicly available on doing so. So I hope Valve gets some information about that so more people can actually help out and this can improve quicker but maybe they'll just get everything done internally, and when it's ready to go out to the public, that's when they'll have a bit more documentation on getting it working. Now, while this is a giant step for one part of HDR, that being the gaming aspect, keep in mind, this is a separate thing to full HDR support under Linux. So let's say you want to go and open up VLC and watch an HDR movie. Open up OBS, and then capture your desktop that's using HDR. Doing this is still a very long way away. I guess in the VLC case, you could like open VLC in Gamescope and go and do that, but still general HDR on the Linux desktop, you just fire up GNOME and then it's in HDR. Everything you wanna run can be using HDR and you're good to go. That's still not here and probably isn't going to be here for at least another year or maybe two. But 
the fact that HDR is progressing means there are people who do care about HDR and this is going to sort of bring a bit more hype to HDR and hopefully it leads to more people helping out and more people testing so this can happen even quicker. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you care at all about HDR? Do you have an HDR display? Do you play HDR games on Linux? Do you even know what HDR is? I would love to know. So let me know your thoughts down below. And if you like this video and you want... Like the video. If you really like the video <laughs> and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, Skype, and Libero Pay, linked in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over T. I've got a gaming channel called Brady on Games. That's going to be it for me. And I'm out.